This is uh, Satrix, and I just wanted to do this a little bit before I got rid of my uh, Soul Terminal computer, because um, I I decided to um, donate it to the CBTC, which is a uh, Chippewa Valley Technical College. Um, my last instructor, uh, uh, Mark Pewig, um, suggested that I could do a donation to the CBTC and what that would do is in all the IT networking concept classes um, it would be presented in, in like the first few weeks of the classes as an example of how the computers used to look like and how the RAM used to look like and I'll show you that all to right now so it's like one of the oldest computers you'll ever see and, and I was very lucky to find it because there's only very few of them made which I'm not going to go into too much detailed information because I want you to go to my blog and, and check out the detailed information but I can tell you that it was uh, manufactured in um, May 1975 and it's one of the first personal computers and it's got um, uh, it, the Intel the processor is based on Intel 8, 8080 which is like one of the first <laughs> Intel processors um, there's a lot of big names in, in the making of this computer. And this is one of the very few computers that have wood on it, and specifically walnut wood. And which there's a story behind that too, which I, like I said, I, I don't want to give it away in my blog. So, um, <clears throat> and like the the wood on the terminal, uh, I I brought it in last year to one of my classes and to my Cisco Cisco two class. It was a Cisco one. It was probably Cisco one, but anyway, I brought it for show and tell to my Cisco one class, and my instructor Brian Goodman was like, "Yeah, you know, you know that computer's old-fashioned when it has wood on the side of it." I just thought it was funny. Everybody else kind of laughed too, so I'll show you the computer. Um, it's a Soul Terminal, and as you can see, it's got a little rust on it, but can't get rid of the rust because the value. It decreases the value of the computer, but this computer is one of the very few in existence. Like I said, I was very lucky to find it, and and if you want to know where I found it and how I found it, um, uh, like I said, you'll have to read my blog. And I also found like all the, all the books to it and stuff. Like um, here's this one. This was the see. <laughs> The small computer catalog. Th that's this is before Bill Gates. As long as you guys all know that, um, you guys thought Bill Gates was the first creator of the personal computer. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> this here is proof of it. Um, let me just show some some programs, space programs that you can make with your computer. And this is what the software programming looks like on these computers if it was all hooked up and ready. Some of the peripherals. Now, wouldn't you trade that for a flat screen, huh? And there's some more of the components in the book. And I also got a, another rare book that I got along with this computer, which is the this specific book is um, The Best of Byte, Volume 1, and the book is in mint condition, and there's not very many of these left either, um, and I'll show you examples on, on the book too. Um, as you can see, um, this guy here is from Star Trek. Um, there's a Soul Eternal, the one that I've got, and um, as you can see, the other old PCs and stuff in here. And it's uh, Best of Byte, Volume 1. And it shows uh, how to put in new upgrades and such like that. And then it shows you how to program stuff. It's a really interesting book. Um, and, and like I said, if, if, you know, if you know anything about computers, um, you'll know that uh, this stuff is very rare to find, especially in its condition. And um, it's, they're, they're, they're valued at a lot of money. So, um, as long as you guys know, so um, I'll show you the inside of the my computer. And now I'm not sure if you guys know what RAM looks like, but um, 
This bugger weighs like at least 60 pounds. But as you can see this right here, these are expansion cards. Um, this, I believe, I think this is 4K of RAM. Or I can't remember for sure. It's either 4 or 8K. Because this, this computer has uh, 16K, which uh, this, this one specifically was one of the more expensive ones that was uh, bought and put together. Uh, now, you could buy these computers uh, pre assembled and assembled. And assembled, they're really expensive. And you'll see by in my blog. Now, um, this here is the power supply. <laughs> yeah, you can see that, huh? I know you're laughing now. Don't you wish you had that in your computer? Now, I had this all taken apart at one time. Um, here's more of the inside. There's a keyboard. And this one, <laughs> this, that's another rare part of this computer. Um, the keyboard is built into the, to the computer. Um, which very few of these were at that time, and the, the Intel the Intel chip is uh, right down there. I just don't know. Do you see that that white chip below that? That's the uh, Intel chip. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that. Um, now you see the old ribbon wires. Now this this one. Um, that's what also that makes this computer very rare is because um, these ones specifically were not made for the the with the line terminators and that's what these little switches are for. Now these had to be uh, specially ordered on the computer, which even made it more expensive. And, and like I said, I I will talk about all that on my blog. Um, I'm sure some of you guys got to find this interesting. Um, and as you can see, this is the walnut actual wood. This is no fake wood, guys. This is the actual wood. And then um, I got some other books that I had gotten with it, as you can see. But I don't think this was for this computer system, but it just came with it for some reason. Um, and Nor Northstar was the distributor of this computer, so that's why I've got all these in here with it. And just upgrading these things is expensive, too. I'm not going to give exact prices until you guys go to my blog. you got to check that out. Um, Well, <clears throat> that's it for this. Um, like I said, just check out my blog.